All right, so I had a couple people ask me on the Facebook pay, pay, page on that post that I did for the speaker upgrade on the golf cart. Uh, I'm trying to make this as short but as detailed as I possibly can. So what I did was I swapped out the factory speakers. They are six and a half inch, or actually these are six and three quarter inch speakers. They are marine grade. They are Polk Audio DB651, if you're wondering for the model number. Um, I added a kicker comp also. Oh, sorry, take that back. These are the six and three quarter inch uh, speakers. These are six and a half, hence the name DB651. So these are the six and three quarters and the speakers in the front are the six and a halves. Um, I got it run. So I actually have the VA cart power plate, I think is what it's called. Um, it was already in the car. I bought the cart from a buddy of mine. He had installed it. And so what that comes with is the fuse box. Um, and I think they added the receiver for the LED light, which is that box right there. And so how I hooked up the amp was, so you obviously don't have RCAs coming from this head unit. If you had an aftermarket head unit, like in a car, those sometimes, well, most of the time come with RCA outputs that you can run directly to an amp. So this one doesn't. So what I had to do was get a line output converter, which is this guy here. It's an MVX LOC line output converter. And what that does is it takes a signal from the head unit. Um, if you can see the orange uh, looking speaker wire down there at the bottom, that's what I have running from the head unit output from the speakers so um the head unit has four, four wires coming out left and right positive negative one to each speaker so you'll have to run the outputs of the head unit to the inputs of this line output converter and then that's what gonna that's what's gonna give you the, your signal to this converter then the, the converter will convert that line input into the high output, which is the RCA jacks. Um, so then those RCA jacks will run into this amp. Um, power for both of these comes from this fuse box, which is obviously um, getting power from the converter, which is uh, what converts the 48 volts to 12 volts um, and then it goes into a fuse box. So all I had to do is run the power wire from the LOC and the amp to this fuse box, add a couple of fuses, I don't know if you can see them, but I had to add fuses for each one. And then, uh, oh, and also, so after you run the speakers from the head unit to the LOC and then RCA's back to the amp, then you'll have to run your speaker wire from the amp and you can see both sets down there underneath uh, this one these are the inputs these are the outputs so these outputs run back to the front of the cart and those run i run everything underneath the cart um had to take this part just, just dash out run it through there and then the speaker wires from the amp go straight to the speakers. And so that's how the speakers are amplified from the amp. And then the subwoofer obviously also gets its power from the amp and it's running through there, up through that little plastic piece and then back to the, back to the subwoofers. So I guess the only thing is if you didn't already have this power plate, you could actually um, get the inverter or converter and then get you, and you can buy these at, I mean, you can buy them on Amazon, get the same thing, the fuse box 
from Amazon. They're fairly cheap. Um, if you didn't already have this B8 power plate um, already installed. But hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, um, just ask and I'll see if I can't respond to them. But that's how I wired the speakers and everything else. Those plugs are for the LEDs. And those run to this uh, XK Glow Bluetooth controller that I can control from my, amp or from my phone. So there you go, hope that helps.